Hello, my name is Steve and I sell stuff on eBay as a hobby and in this video I want to show you my payout for the 19th of March 2024. But first of all, let's have a look at what's sold. It's Tuesday the 12th of March and I've just accepted an offer on this bundle of five books by Peter James. There's um, four books in his Detective Roy Grace series. Um, uh, made into a TV series with John Sim, I think. Um, and uh, in addition to those four, there's one standalone novel there. Um, so let's just have a look at the titles. We've got this one, which is Tomorrow Dead. Uh, this one's quite tatty, actually, but I decided to include it in the bundle anyway. Uh, there's this one, Dead Man's Time. And we've got Find Them Dead. He's sensing a bit of a theme here with the titles um, and Dead Man's Grip. And then we've got the standalone novel, which is called Possession. So that's um, five paperbacks by Peter James. And um, I was asking for £11 all in for this. I've accepted an offer of £9 because I have had them sitting on my shelf for quite some time now. Um, and uh, the buyer has paid. So I'm going to be able to ship those out as soon as I have them wrapped up. It's Wednesday the 13th of March and so early in the morning it's still dark outside but uh, I have to go out early and I want to post this order out on my way. Now, I remember a time when these books by James Harriet used to be in just about every charity shop I ever went into. Um, there was a very popular TV series based on James Harriet Vet books, uh, a couple of films as well, and I think a, a remake television series, which uh, I never saw. Um, but certainly these books are still popular, um, and whilst you can't get these in charity shops anymore, uh, they do tend to sell on eBay, and in fact I have sold a bundle of them before. I managed to pick up these three, I listed them for £9.50, um, I've just been offered £8.50 for them, um, and as I'm not paying fees on them, I'm very happy to accept that. Let's have a look at the titles then. So we've got this one, which is if only they could talk. Then we've got letting let sleeping vets lie and vet in harness. Um, so that's three books for eight pounds fifty all in. Um, the buyer has actually paid very quickly, and I'm going to get these posted out this morning. It's Friday the 15th of March and I've just accepted an offer on this bundle of three books by Stephen King. There are three books in his Dark Tower series. Um, now, um, I'm not sure how many volumes there are altogether, five or six I think. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a complete set to sell. Uh, but I thought I'd put these three volumes up that I do have. Um, I listed them for £12. I've accepted an offer of 10 There's no fees on that, so it's not too bad really. Um, so what we have is the first in the series, which is called The Gunslinger. Then we've got the fourth book in the series, which is Wizard and Glass. And the fifth books, book in the series, which is called Wolves of the Kala, or Kala, or however you're supposed to say it. Um, so that's not a bad set really, um, it, as, as I say it's gone for £10 all in and once that's paid for I'll be able to post that out. It's Saturday the 16th of March and I've just sold this bundle of books by Joseph Heller for the full asking price of £15. Joseph Heller of course best known for Catch-22 um, which uh, is part of this bundle here. It's been filmed, um, it's been made into an excellent television series with George Clooney I think. Um, I watched that, it was very good. Um, and it's entered into the English language. Um, so worth a read. Um, I did read it many years ago, I tried to reread it recently, didn't get on with it for some reason, but um, I've got another copy so I might give it another go at some point. So that's Catch-22. We've also got Close Time, which uh, was written many years later as a direct sequel to Catch-22. And then his two other books, Good as Gold and Something Happened. So that's four books by Joseph Heller for £15 all in. 
It's Saturday afternoon now, and my second sale of the day is this pile of Star Trek novels. There are 12 of them all together. I had them listed for £22 plus £3.50 for postage and packing. Have gone at the full asking price. Uh, so I'm reasonably happy with that. Let's have a very quick look at the titles. I'm not going to linger too long on any of them. That's uh, Spock Messiah. That's written by somebody called Theodore Cogswell and Charles Spano. Um, then we've got uh, Sarek, uh, The Lost Years, The Prime Directive, this one, Perry's Planet, Perry's Planet here, written by Jack C. Haldeman, who's um, quite a well-known science fiction writer. His brother is Joe Haldeman, who's perhaps uh, even better known. Um, and in fact, here we've got a novel by Joe Haldeman called uh, A Planet of Judgment. So that's Perry's Planet and A Planet of Judgment. Then we've got this, which is Mud's Enterprise. And we've got The Fate of the Phoenix. There's Bill Shatner as a Romulan on the cover there. Um, and we've got this, this uh, Star Trek uh, Enterprise, The First Adventure by Vonda McIntyre. Um, quite a cool cover that in the, uh, in the uniforms that they used in the original pilots. Then we've got Probe, which is a sequel to the movie, um, which one was it now? The fourth movie, The Voyage Home. Um, and then we've got Shadow Lord, and that one is written by somebody called Lawrence Yep. So that is 12 Star Trek novels for £22 plus postage and packing. That's all been paid for, and it's time I wrapped them up. £68 was paid into my bank account by eBay on the 19th of March, and this time they took no fees whatsoever. After postage, I'm left with £49.55. Everything has gone by Royal Mail. Um, most of them are small parcels of £2.99, but the Star Trek books, they came out as a medium parcel. I paid £6.49 for that to include Track 48. So that's five items sold. £49.55 after postage costs. Just short £50. They're not a huge amount of money, but as a hobby seller, I'm quite happy with that. I hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please give it a like. Subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. I'll see you next time. Not sure when that will be because I'm taking a few weeks break off eBay now. Um, but hopefully it won't be too long before I'm back. Bye for now.